I'm Patrick Henry Hughes, and I'm a Kentucky artist. Well, music and arts have always been really amazing and, and miraculous. I've always enjoyed, especially music, all the different sounds that are featured. You know, you can almost pretty much express how you feel through music, I've discovered. You know, if you're happy or sad or angry or what have you, just play a little song to kind of represent those feelings, and there you, you have it. It sort of kind of escapes out of you. Plus, the music has taken me places that I really don't know if I would have if I, I would have been had it not been for music. Thanks to the arts and all the wonderful things that they have uh, brought to me, uh, my dad and I right now are doing some traveling and some motivational speaking. Uh, we, we've traveled throughout uh, the United States from California to New York to Miami to Chicago, all points in between, as well as uh, seven or eight uh, different countries around the world. I was born with a condition called bilateral anophthalmia, which is the absence of eyes. They just didn't develop. Uh, there's really no explanation as to why. Uh, I was also born with a syndrome called uh, Pterygia syndrome which is a webbing of my joints at the elbows and the knees, uh, prevents me from being able to fully straighten my arms and legs. Uh, this is actually uh, right here as far as I can straighten them. Uh, also, two steel rods were attached to my spine to correct scoliosis, but uh, you know, apart from all, all of those things, you know, I try not to, to dwell on those and uh, mainly just live a normal life and um, try to enjoy life to the fullest because it is truly a blessing. And I've always really enjoyed music throughout uh, my childhood. I play the piano, the trumpet, and I sing and have a lot of fun doing that. My earliest memories of music start out with the piano that I first learned to play on when I was about nine months old. And the earliest memory I have of that piano, and I'm not overly sure why, but I would always play with one finger, kind of finding out what note made what sound rather than just sitting at the piano and banging on the keys and seeing how much noise I could make. But the thing that I remember most is some of the sounds that the notes made reminded me of different voices. For example, I would hit a key and the sound would remind me of the voices of my parents or my grandparents or uh, a voice I might hear in a public place. And I was sort of able to learn the notes by matching them based on what they reminded me of. I was mainstreamed in our uh, local public schools in Jefferson County Schools. There is um, a, cu a couple of great organizations here in Louisville. There is the Kentucky School for the Blind, which is actually a uh, right next to the world-famous American Printing House for the Blind. And all of those organizations are, are wonderful, but uh, throughout my education, my parents decided to mainstream me in the public school system. And um, overall, that was, uh, my education was a pretty good experience. I'd looked at several colleges going out of high school, none of which have uh, football teams or marching bands and well for a variety of different reasons I ended up choosing U of L. And before I had made that decision I had decided that if I did choose U of L I wanted to be a member of their pep band that plays at the basketball games and the volleyball games and things like that because I'd heard them play at those games and thought it would be fun. But we went to register for classes when I was getting out of high school, and as we were leaving, we stopped by the band director's office, Dr. Greg Byrne, and talked to him about me perhaps being a member of the pep band. And he said, you know, it'd be great to have you. you know, we'd, we'd love to have you in the pep band, but in order to be in the pep band, you have to be a member of the marching band as well. And of course, my dad and I are hearing this and we're like, 
<laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm blind and in a wheelchair. I'm going to be a member of the marching band. You know, sure, whatever, dream on. <laughs> we asked Dr. Byrne to just sign us up for Pet Band. Dad had an idea of writing to the Disabilities Resource Center or the university president or somebody to get me out of marching band. But as usual, he procrastinated. Lo and behold, it's time for marching band camp, which meets 10 days before classes are due to start under a baking hot August sun. And I decided, you know, Dad hadn't written anybody and they're expecting us. We should probably go. So we go to band camp. The idea was that I would play my trumpet on the field and Dad would m maneuver my wheelchair through the formations. So we go to band camp and Dad's going with the idea that nothing is going to inspire him to get that letter written more so than having to be out there in that sun working hard and doing all these marching formations and things of that nature. A well, band camp actually lasts from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. So we get home, I guess, probably around 8.15 or 8.30. And with my performances on the Crusade for Children and other fundraisers throughout Louisville, I'd gained some local attention. We get home, the telephone is ringing off the hook. We've got emails pouring in from friends and family and even strangers, you know. We, we heard on the 6 o'clock news that Patrick and his dad are going to be in the marching band. Cool, that's awesome, you know. Halftime's usually concession stand time for us. Now we have an excuse to stay and watch the band perform. And uh, with that, the die was pretty much cast. There was no getting out of it, and we, we had to make it work, and you know, thank goodness we did make it work, and we we can't give enough credit to to Doctor Byrne, who you know saw me not as a, a a blind kid in a wheelchair, so to speak, but a trumpet player that would be you know a part of his band, and you know it's also a great blessing that the arts are a part of school still because I started playing trumpet in the fourth grade through my school band and had that not been available to me then I probably would not have started the trumpet and probably would not have been in the U of L marching band in the first place. I think the arts really do matter in life because they help you get educated sort of in life's other fields. For example, uh, being a musician as I am, it requires a lot of discipline uh, you know, discipline to practice your instrument and make sure it's perfect, which, uh, you know, make sure you can play the piece you're performing perfectly and uh, try to incorporate that into other forms of life. I believe that no matter where you look, there is always some sort of creative art for anyone to enjoy, whether it's music or, or painting or tactile or sculpture or whatever the case may be. It's always out there. For a young artist with a different ability who, who is attempting to pursue arts as a career, I would say, you know, like, like every dream and goal, go with it. You, you can do it. You know, sure, there might be some obstacles and challenges in your way. You'll probably get the naysayers, so to speak, that say, no, you can't do it or whatever. But just remember, all you have to do is set your mind to achieve your your goal and keep the passion for it and it will happen. I'm Patrick Henry Hughes and I'm a Kentucky artist. <laughs>